So this one, let's not delve into so much into this. And uh, this is because we have presented a church uh, in, um, before the court, and so the matter and the five can be Yeah, we have no objection to the closure of the file. There's no issue, so we'll just have the file closed. So then we can go now to the charge sheet. Maybe Mr. Dego, just... You are here for the Towers in Nairobi, within Nairobi County, jointly with others not before court, conspired to steal one billion fifty-two million seven hundred and forty-six thousand and nine ninety-four shillings, the property of members of Ekeza Sako Society Limited. David Karuki Ngari alias Lakuyo, is it true or not true? Not true. Count two, obtaining money by false speech of March 2016 and 21st day of February 2017 at Ekeza South Society Limited offices, Roy Branch, within Nairobi City County, jointly with others, not before cost, with intent to defraud, obtain cash, Kenya shillings, 553,050 shillings from step by step welfare association by falsely pretending <coughs> that you are in a position to sell a parcel of land number 2777 situated at Kimambogo in Kiambu County to the same association a fact means to be false. David Kariki Larry and is it true or not true? Not true. Real estate offices, Yala Tower in Nairobi, within Nairobi City County, joining with others not before court, with intent to be shown, obtained from Elizabeth Wairimo Mwangi, Kenya shillings, 2,450,000, by falsely pretending that the whole investment club was carrying out a business that would attract 2% interest, a fact to you to be false. David Karuki Larry, so much true. Count four. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, just a small clarification. Yes. Count four. Obtaining money by false pretense. Obtaining money by false pretense, contrary to section 313 of the penal code. On between 24th day of July 2017 and 21st March 2018. At Ekesa Sako offices, Yala Towers, Towers Branch in Nairobi, within, within Nairobi City County, jointly with others not before court, with intent to defraud, obtained from Elizabeth Wairimo Mwangi, Kenya shillings, 170,000, by falsely pretending that Ekesa Sako Limited was in a position to grant a loan three times of the amount invested <coughs> in fact to need to be false. David Kairuki Ngari and I asked them who are true not true. A Kesa Sak singular charge. What, what is the propriety of that charge? Yes. Yes, Mr. Kinanji, now you can Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. He's in person here. Yes. But he is also the direct soul. Yes. Direct. Okay. Of a Kesa 
in our society. If they choose to take that path, yes. then we will pursue it too. Yes. So that we cope indeed, indeed. So, so that's what I was trying to okay, describe okay, okay. Uh, the quota system. Yeah, I think that, that that was the idea I had yes, so when you pursue, met is. If they seek that we pursue that line, we are happy to go. You know, you know, the client before you is not any scintilla element of link with that particular. That is one and the same thing is erroneous. And so I think for now, Sindir, with tremendous respect, let him choose not to respond or to respond. <coughs> yeah, as we go along, I think all those issues now will be canvassed now at length. When the matter has uh, come. The day of October 2016, and that first day of October 2016, that the full real estate limited offices, Serian, in Kajiado, within Kajiado County, jointly with others not before court, with intent to defraud, obtained from Edward Mwangi Duati, Kenya shillings, 1,200,000, by falsely pretending that the Huyo Investment Club was carrying out a business that <coughs> attracted 2% interest a fact to me to be false. David Kariki Ngari and as the Huyo Tronot True, Nekesa Sako Society Limited Tronot True, Count 6, obtaining money by false pretense, contrary to Section 313 of the Penal Code, the fifth bench at the date of January 2017, and 17th day of July 2017 at Ekeza Sako offices, Yala Towers in Nairobi, within Nairobi City County, jointly with others not before court, with intent to defraud, obtained from Esther Nyakiru Mugo, 302,900, by falsely pretending that Ekeza Sako Site Limited was in a <coughs> position to grant a loan three times of the amount invested, a fact to me to be false. David Karuki Ngari and as the way, true not true. In case of Sako Limited, true not true. <laughs> Count seven, obtaining money by false pretense, pretenses contrary to section 313 of the penal code. Against the second accused, who has not yet to plead to the charges. And for the first accused, we are asking this court to take into account the following. Your Honor, before Mr. Tinanji takes that line, they cannot bring a charge sheet. They start arguing over an application that has not been We have not made an application. Kindly <coughs> allow us to make the application. Then they can respond to that. My thinking was if they, are, they intend to oppose, let public interest matter. And you still object to that line. We have not made an application for him to respond. Your Honor, it is either they are opposing, we make our application. They respond. We do a rejoinder. Mr. Kinyanji wants to have the application, then he'll have a rejoinder. It will be prejudicial. All right, do you, you, you wish to oppose or not? Your Honor, we are not, not opposing exactly. Yes. yes. We are just staying yes. what we wish the court to consider. Yes. Your Honor, that is okay. Yeah, that no, is that in is order, okay. yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would have uh, let him finish. Yeah. No, and no, then, no, it's yeah. okay. If he's not opposing, <laughs> yes. he can give what he should. Uh, <coughs> yes, so we are at, at asking the court to consider that this is a public interest matter yes. owing to the amounts involved and the number of victims involved in this matter. Secondly, we are asking the court to consider that the accused person who was arrested at JKIA, which in the view of the investigating officer was an attempt to flee the no, jurisdiction. No, 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 let me make my submission. Let, let's make, let us make an application. Then he objects yes. to those issues because the line that he's taking. happy with what I cannot argue the way he wants me to argue. Yeah. Let me argue my case mm. and then you will argue yours. Yes. That is so I'll, I'll direct Mr. Kenyanju, just finish with your application. Yes. I'll give you a chance yes. to you respond to each of those.
and it's tried, yeah? So further, I know that the prosecution that do not oppose bond or bail, save for those conditions that uh, Mr. Kinyanji on behalf of the DPP has enumerated. Uh, I've also noted the counter-argument or rejoinder by the defense team, by Mr. Njiru, Mr. Bamboleo, and uh, Mr. Njagi, and Mr. Omari, of course. Uh, so I'll grant the first accused person bond or bail in the following terms. A, the accused person may be granted a bond of Kenya shillings 20 million, a bond of Kenya shillings 20 million with two sureties of a similar amount. B, alternative to A, is that the accused person may be granted a cash bill of Kenya shillings 10 million, so a cash bill of 10 million shillings, and then he'll provide two contact persons, yeah, so 10 million Kenya shillings with two contact persons who will be examined by the court. And the further directive is that one of the contact persons must be an employee working with the government or public office. And then the C, the first accused person to deposit his passport as a prerequisite for being admitted to bond. And further also, and I think it's in the ordinary, he should not interfere with any investigation that is still pending or ongoing. And then, of course, I'll also issue warrants in respect to the second accused. Okay. Can the court issue the warrants? We are